What's up, you guys? So, God will coach you here. So, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about preparing yourself for transition. So, and what I mean by that, guys, is basically you might be in a position in life, right? I'm actually breaking it down for you guys. You might be in a position in life where you want to actually start doing something totally different. You actually want to do a whole 360. You actually want to start doing something basically new, right? So, what you want to actually do is you want to prepare yourself for transition. So, oh, I'm here in my uh, lovely apartment. But back to what I was saying. But um, you want to prepare yourself for transition. You want to actually be able to, number one, plant your seed. So what I always tell myself every time I want to start something new or if I want to get involved in something, I always plant my seed around the right people that are doing exactly what I want to do in life. You don't want to plant your seed around the wrong people. The reason why you don't want to do that is I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't do that, and then I'm going to tell you the rest of the uh, plans that you should actually do. The reason why you don't want to plant your seed around the wrong people is, number one, bad energy, all right? You don't want bad energy while you're planting your seed and trying to do something new. You want positivity. You want to be able, you want people to uplift you so you can be able to, you know, continue, you know, striving for greatness, striving for that next level. The second thing is contamination. You don't want people to contaminate you when you're trying to be great, all right? I done been around a lot of people that actually, um, you know, so-called are trying to motivate me, but they're not. They're actually putting, you know, trying to bring me down. But, you know, when you're built for greatness, nobody can bring you down. The third thing that you want to do, we're not even going to speak on the third thing. Let's get back to the other checklist. So you want to be around, you want to be able to plant your seed. The second thing you want to do is you want to be able to be consistent in what you're trying to do in life. So no matter what you're trying to do, I don't care if you want to start a business. I don't care if you want to start an online business. I don't care if you want to become an entrepreneur. I don't care what you want to do, right? What you really want to do is be consistent. That is the number one key to success. A lot of people are trying to start different things in life, but they're not consistent. Number Why? Because they get distracted, okay? They get distracted over the littlest things. It can be about girls. It can be about clothes. It can be about money. It can be about parties. It can be about anything. Just so, something so little. So you really want to be in a position to be consistent. So number one, you want to plant your seed. Number two, you want to be consistent. The third thing is you want to be dedicated. You want to love what you're doing. Now, if you're not dedicating and loving what you're doing, you're not going to go too far. You know, you're, you know, you might try and, you know, get to the second level, but you got to remember there's 10 levels in this thing, baby. You want to be able to accomplish all 10 levels. If you're only on level two and you stopping or taking baby steps and, and not loving what you're doing, you're going to go back to level one. Matter of fact, you might go back to the foundation. So I just want to tell you guys that stay consistent, stay dedicated and stay around the people that's actually trying to Stay around the people that are doing what you're doing. You don't want to be around the wrong crowd. I don't care. You don't care how cool they are. Who cares? Your life matters. Not about their coolness or your coolness. All right? Love you guys. See you guys later. Peace.